Thank you for joining me for my Knights and Guns review. My name is Kanan, and why not hit that like and subscribe buttons to be kept up to date with more of my content. Now then, let's take a look at the gameplay, shall we? And with a story of revenge set in medieval times, but with modern firepower. It's certainly an interesting story, with voiced cutscenes used to add that extra effect. Basically, you're shooting from the ground upwards, using a dodge to get out of the way of bouncing enemies. And there's even kind of a special weapon that you can use to dispatch many of the actual enemies at the same time. And you even get special weapon pickups as you play through the levels. And this kind of helps to mix it all up as you're playing. This is, to my mind, all done pretty well. And as you can see, sometimes gives a feeling of Space Invaders mixed with Arkanoid, I think? And there's even a little bit of platforming thrown into the mix to justify that jump button you have. The games are played in waves with a few survival levels thrown in. Where it's kind of like, hey you, stay alive for 60 seconds or perish. And there's a few other nice little touches thrown in there as well. Traversing the actual levels is done by a map which is kind of like a grid based map. And have to go level to level fighting your way through until you find that complete dick who turned on you and your brothers in arms. Along your journey you'll have to collect keys to open chests. And there's new challenges all over the place. And some levels have you meeting other objectives too. There is however a shop you can stock up on lives, special armour sets that kind of put up your stats all in different ways. As well as music, info and lore to be gained. Just do not forget to collect them coins. And lastly I felt the game had a really good sense of humour as well as well as the option to play in local co-op, where you'll get twice the firepower, but I think the monsters are a little bit more difficult to dispatch. Graphics have a nice cartoony effect with that great sense of humour I mentioned earlier. The locations are done well, although a lot of the creatures are variations of themselves. But that said, it still feels good to play. And I do have to admit to a slightly warped sense of satisfaction when the creatures explode above you. Quite a lot of the time releasing more of them smaller or different flyy ones. And I will just mention here that the bosses are okay and they kind of help break up the onslaught that you'll normally get from so many different aliens on screen at the same time. And as for that audio, well, mostly all of the dialogue is voiced and thank you very much for that. The soundtrack ranges from very arousing to a middle ground of almost relaxing but kind of keeps you on your toes still. And those squelching sounds when you destroy some of the creatures kind of sets the tone of the game. The good. Voiced. Thank you very much for that again. Lows to do, lows to unlock, good sense of humour and that co-op play. The bad. There is a lot here to do, but that can also come with a little bit of repetition. And the same kind of goes with the creatures as well. And as for my score, obviously based on my own opinions on the game, I'm going to give Knights and Guns a 4 out of 5. And I was kind of mixed between a 3 plus or a 4 out of 5. I think I'm going to settle with a 4 out of 5 because of the co-op within it. I felt it was nicely priced and it does actually have plenty to do within it. And as forementioned, you could even bring your friends along for the ride. And if you have any comments on Knights and Guns, leave them in the comments down below. And as for my alternative, I'm going to go for Ace Invaders. Looks fun, and again a Space Invaders with a twist. I've not played it, but if you have, comment down below. And that's your lot. Thank you for joining me. 
hit that like and subscribe button to be kept up to date with all my latest content come and join us in our community discord we would love to have some newcomers come join us because life is better when we switch together